Kia ora and welcome back. Today's lessons are going to be around stage 6 multiplication and division. There's four main strategies at stage 6 for multiv, um, but I'm going to cover three of them in this little workshop. Okay, as you would guess, the three strategies are place value partitioning, rounding and compensating, and reversibility. So I'm going to pose a problem now and we're going to use all three strategies to solve that problem. If we have a problem like 54 divided by 3 is equal to something okay this one will require us to use reversibility to start with okay so I'm going to reverse this into a multiplication problem so it now becomes 3 times something is equal to 54 from here I'm going to use place value partitioning to solve it separately and then I will use random and compensating Okay, to use place value partitioning, remember I need to be using or multiplying the tens and the ones separately. So in this equation, 3 times what? Well, I'm going to start with 3 times 10, because that's a known fact to me. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. I now need to think, how am I going to get to 54? Well, I need to add 24 more. So 3 times 8 is equal to 24. I've added 10 groups of 3 and then 8 groups of 3, so 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. 3 times 18 is equal to 54, or 54 divided by 3 is equal to 18. Now to use rounding and compensating, I'm going to round a number up so that it goes past the answer of 54. So in this scenario, I would do 3 times 20 is equal to 60. I know I need to get to 54, so how many groups of 3 will I need to subtract? Well, that is going to be minus 3 groups of 2, which is equal to 6. 60 minus 6 is equal to 54. 20, I had 20 groups. I subtract 2 groups, so 20 minus 2 is equal to 18. Once again, that takes us back to the same answer that we had before of 454 divided by 3 is equal to 18. So just to clarify, place value partitioning. Okay, I multiplied the 10s and the 1s separately, so I went 3 times 10 is equal to 30, and then 3 times 8 is equal to 24. I then added 10 plus 8 which gave me 18. For rounding and compensating, I rounded the number up so I would go past the answer, and then I subtracted off the groups that I didn't need. In this scenario, 20 minus 2 is equal to 18, which took me to the same answer as what I had before. That was reversibility, place value partitioning, and rounding and compensating. 